Hey, hey. Wow, that is very loud. Is there a way for me to... Um, I can turn you down. Wonderful. How's that? Perfect. Yeah, put your microphone right up close to your mouth. There we go. That's good. That's good. We have uh, Euro versus Caleb. Yeah, big one. Hey, well done beating Caleb, by the way. Oh, thank you. Well done, well uh, done. That was actually a nice game. Yep. Your up tilts, very, very <laughs> suffocating. Uh, it's very stressful <laughs> playing on stream, slash in tournament even. Yeah, I was going to say. Oh, oh no. Wait, yeah. is, this, is this? This is real. This is real. Oh, no, that's not a good start. That is terrible, actually. See, I, Caleb's like a person I really like to see succeed, but, um, you know, it just doesn't happen often, <laughs> which is the sad thing. Like, it's weird. Um, I would say our closest games between he and I tend to happen in tournament. Like he tends to power up a little bit. Yeah. See, I think Caleb actually has like what it takes to beat a lot of like good players and play really well himself because he does put the work in. He does actually like practice and like he plays net play and stuff. But it's just like I don't know what it is. I, I just think that sometimes he doesn't know how to win. Uh, I do know that he doesn't have net play at home, right? So Not at home. So he doesn't get to play it like... He doesn't grind it like it's grinded like I do. Which yeah, is, that's, that's a thing, right? Yeah. That's that's a real thing. And it's kind of hard to, like, beat that, in my opinion. For ages when I played him, he was, like, a very committed RTCer. And um, I would just kind of tech in place and, then like, execution test him a lot. Okay. And he seems to have very much kind of, like... Like, comfortably added the, uh, the stump tech in place into his arsenal, which has made it a lot, I mean, he, a lot more threatening. He was definitely hitting you when you were missing your techs. Yeah, yeah. So, like, the punish is there. It's just, like, I don't know. Like, I, I think maybe some edge guards he lets go. Maybe some, like... But I don't know. It's kind of hard if you're Falcon versus Fox. It's true. I... Hey, there you go. Nice. All the Falcons are deluded into thinking that matchup is playable, but it's not. No, that it, it sucks. <laughs> <laughs> I I think um like against Falco and against Fox, it's just like I don't know. It, it, that's like the reason you stop playing Falcon. I feel is like those two characters. Every other character, you're like, damn, this Kevin Falcon kind of sick. <laughs> and then you play against Falco and Fox, and you're like, oh wow, these characters just are built different. Oh shit, that was insane. <laughs> It was very much like a 45 seconds for the last two stocks. Euro former player, I've heard? Like, yeah, so sort of old school. Basically came right. around the same time a lot of us New Bloods came in. Okay. So like 2014, 2015 era. Yep. Um, was missing for a bit just because like it's a bit hard to get to these tournaments from where he is. Um, and I, was I also think he was just focusing on study for a bit. Oh, yeah. Um, so like... Hasn't been, uh, like, part of, like, the introduction to the netplay era, I guess? Yeah. yeah. But now it's like... I don't know, he's back. He's, he, I think he's playing netplay, surely. No, he is. We were talking about it today. Nick with the lore, Euro is the first person I played in friendlies at my first ever Street Geek. We're going back a few years if we're mentioning Street Geek. Oh, man. Do you know about Street Geek? Has anyone talked to you about that? So, when I played, we used to go to LPC, Land Party Central, mm -hmm. and then that imploded, and Street Geek took over, but this was right when Brawl came out, so I'd stop playing. Yeah. So, I have been to one Street Geek for non-Smash-related purposes. Okay. In, like, 2007. Okay. See, basically, the period of Smash I came in was the Street Geek era. Right. So, uh, like, people were playing Brawl and Melee at Street Geek, you paid like what, ten or twenty dollars just to like get a ticket for the LAN or whatever, so you could play melee. There would be no entry fee to melee. Yeah. And they would just basically like, if you won any game at the LAN, you get more entries into a raffle that gives you prizes. No actual prizes for winning or anything. Just more points into the raffle. Uh, they used to do that at LPC, except that um, the raffle wasn't. The raffle was just a random video game that Jamish had on hand. Oh, Jesus. So one time a friend of mine won and he got an Xbox game, a console he did not own. <laughs> Sick. I mean, there's been times where the raffle was just like, you win an onion. That, like, one of us has walked home with an onion. Uh, to Trackblight. I played a little bit in 2007 and then from Slippy onwards. <laughs> 
That's a good. That's a good track record. I very much came in and then Brawl came in. <laughs> yeah, look. I was hyped for Brawl at one point. Oh, I, Brawl was an incredible game. Um, I just didn't want to compete in it. Yeah. Did everyone just like drop melee at the time? There was very much a feeling from watching the US tournaments and like around our scene that um that melee was gonna die. Right. So we all just like I I I think a bunch of us kind of like I know Ollie came back. Yeah. And was like the god of SA for some time. Ollie was great. That was a good era of SA melee actually. That was a really good era. That was like when you got to play Ollie on the melee setup, oh man, <laughs> you'd be cheering super hard. Like those were my favorite friendlies back in the day. Right, he um he was the king when I started, and like no one was ever able to kind of touch him. Yeah, he was good. Ollie was really good. He actually he came to like a tournament like 2017 or 18, and he like beat me with Sheik. I'm like, what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> like you haven't been playing. But he just like randomly beat me, and That's like cool. every other time we played, when he came back, like it would be close, but like you know he wasn't uh, he wasn't quite like good enough. Yeah. But like I don't know just him playing Sheik maybe is like uh, the uh, the best thing for him to do. Because well, to be fair, Sheik is bullshit. Yeah. So. Well, Ollie was the best. That's my patented opinion as a spacey player. Yeah, Nick's got the right story here. Grim. Grim Tuesday would win everything, and then uh, Ollie would show up and fuck everyone up. Nice. Like Ollie would just like sh kind of show up every now and then, and then like beat Grim and everyone else. But before that, like it was just Grim kind of running the scene, and then Nick beat everyone. And Nick beat Ollie once. He's like PR me, top of the top of the ladder. <laughs> I'm, I'm top of the PR now. I beat Ollie once. And we're like, yeah, do it again. And then he did. And then he was the best. Nice. Nick was housemates my friend, and all I would hear was. Grim is whining again. <laughs> Sick. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. This, is, this was my touchstone with the Smash community through like 2016. Was Clyde would be like... Yeah. Are you friends with Clyde? Yeah, he's like, Grim, yeah. Grim is whining about losing again. <laughs> like, oh, oh, hell yeah. That's sick, actually. <laughs> That's so dope. <laughs> I met Clyde on the I'm, very first day of high school. I'm, I'm, I'm time traveling right now, dude. That's right. This is crazy. Anyway. Caleb doing really well though. Yeah, I did. I, I think that's right. It's interesting that Euro brought into Yoshi's for game two in a best of five. I think it's and a, not here. I think that's a Euro pick, truth be told. Okay. I think, um, yeah, he, he kind of likes that stage. It's probably a good idea if you're like a little rusty. Right. I mean, more than one person has described me as very lame, and like FD just suits me because. I don't think you're lame. I'm gonna. I'm gonna stand my ground and shoot left. Oh. oh, let's go Euro. Ah, no kill. So yeah, I was just talking to Euro a lot about like Falco and like, yeah, did, lasers yeah. and like pressure and stuff. He's probably not gonna like you know be able to put much of it here, like much of that gameplay here or anything, right? But right. no, no, I mean you you can't adapt to a lesson in like 25 no, minutes. No. But he's actually see he's actually like thinking about his lasers and his like yeah. aerials afterwards a bit more now. Ooh. Hey, nice. Even I mean, he's it. actually like, none of these games have been... I mean, Caleb did SD a couple of times and then washed him at the end of the first game, but... Yeah. Um, See, Yuri's, like, he's not bad. He's like holding his ground. He's not a scrub. No way. Oh my god, those lasers were disgusting. <laughs> they were just so high up and it still hit Caleb. Oh, something. Actually, nothing. Never mind. I want to see Yuri get this FD game, though. Ooh. Well, Kami getting stuck in shine, though. Ah, uh, he's getting hit out of his shield. More gun. More gun. Yeah, he could be using more gun. Ah, uh, here we go, though. I, I picked up Falco recently, and... What do you mean by picked up Falco? I decided to play, play Falco. Like... In 20? Like, no, no, just like nine days ago. I was like, I want to play Falco as a secondary. And He's good. And maybe eventually as a main. He is pretty good. And Ooh, Let's go, Yuri. Let's, let's go. go. Until until then, Microsoft J's style was incredibly frustrating to play against, and now he's an inspiration. <laughs> I hate that. I hate to hear that. Really hate to hear that. Oh, oh that's, no. Uh, that's it. 3-0. All right. Who's staying on? Oh, 
I'll go up unless Caleb wants to play his third consecutive set. Do you guys just want to like do two on each? Sorry. Like two games on each at a time? So we'll do uh, Sam and Coffee Rex next? Sure. Sweet. Okay, well, thanks everyone and thanks Kyle.